in social media, you don't uh, looking for the resource. And here we know that the we know that the ad of the country itself is very big in this Celebrate and Universe. Why I say so? Because this application has like Telegram and YouTube. That means that if they want to operate in a country, that they should get the permission from, from the country itself. So here, if they get the uh, permission from the country, they can operate in one country, like Indonesia. Uh, so the people, Telegram and YouTubers, like who can uh, do something or act there, and you can have a uh, in Celebrate and Universe if the country don't give the permission to Celebrate and YouTube, uh, uh, Instagram and YouTube to operate, Indonesia, that means the people that like celebrate and interpret is there is no Indonesia. We cannot form them if the country uh, don't give the permissions. So here is very big influence. It's very big uh, influence from the country that has given giving the permissions from the uh, Instagram and also the YouTube. And the third one, they told us about not all of Instagram and YouTube get the pay, but uh, uh, then all of Telegram and YouTubers get paid. But here we talk about the Telegram and YouTubers who get, who get paid from uh, the YouTube itself, from these applications like Instagram and YouTube. And I want to give us uh, now I want to turn to the red point. <coughs> we know that I still believe that is the worker in the real world and in social media is the same person who work for uh, their life. So here they will get the money. So. Uh, I want to say with you that we uh, talk about the people who get paid from these applications, like uh, your Instagram and YouTube. So here is unfair where someone um, where someone get much money that from something from their work if they do pay for tax. Even though uh, here the people in the real world they should pay the tax. Why people in uh, work in social media uh, don't pay the tax? And uh, if the celebrity and YouTubers should pay tax that they can uh, increase the income of this country or the country in Indonesia so that we can uh, solve any kind of problem that uh, if they get money from uh, celebrity and YouTubers. So here, uh, as, uh, I want to give you an example that the celebrity is the loser. You know that he is uh, a girl who uh, studied in university. Before, we don't know her. We didn't but because this application, uh, Instagram application, she can be famous. As I told you before, that it's very big ad from the country has a lot of this application in Indonesia, so that's why this Nunuzo get famous with this application and uh, talk about the permission of uh, the country. So here she should be taxed for the country. So that's why I strongly believe this motion that this house believe that Celebrity and YouTube should be taxed for the country. So that's all for me. I close my house. Thanks all the for the love of Yeah, is 
there is, a, 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 for example, a content creator. Like, they share their daily life, they share their interests, they share what they do. And uh, not all these content creators are loved by the citizens. Like, um, uh, for example, like uh, one person is just like, I want to share this to the media. And many citizens, many uh, civilians love them and they keep following them. Like, uh, share more ideas, I like your idea. And some, uh, and many of this, uh, Many of this become they become the influencer, and by this influencer, as we know that nowadays influencer has a very very big influence to young generations of this country. So, um, uh, and also there are many people who share things online, and people even give hater to them. So, do this kind of people you you will uh, put you will make them pay tax as well. So moving on to my arguments. First, um, why we believe they should not pay the tax because it is uh, we believe that it is not considered as a real job. So, um, not all self-grams and YouTubers uh, get the same income. For example, like uh, a YouTuber who have 100 million followers or uh, viewers or followers, they get more income from YouTube. While the one and well, in Instagram, 100 million uh, followers doesn't doesn't get paid because YouTube and uh, and Instagram have different different policies. And and we know that uh, why real workers pay pay job, for example, like businessmen, business people, if they open, for example, like a restaurant or a store, because they have the feel, they rent or they buy the this. Um, for working or selling things uh, because that is the government that is government field. For example, they buy a place to open a shop and that's why they have to pay for the building tax. Uh, and also the government take the money because they produce uh, income as a seller. And uh, here we have a case in this country where under age people or children who also becomes a YouTuber and sell drugs. As we know that children, uh, if the government, uh, sh if the government sh uh, make the, the YouTuber and sell drugs pay the tax, what about the children? What about the children and under age people? Uh, yes, they can become, but why do they have to pay? This is like uh, against the uh, children's right. Why do they have to pay while they're just uh, sharing their interests? So we don't think that this is fair and they also didn't state that uh, whether they want to uh, apply the this tax for underage uh, self government and users. Um, and uh, as I said before, it is not stable. Like uh, it is the few, the income will not be stable. But if you work in a real job, like each month you will get paid three three million. Uh, but in this uh, YouTube and Instagram, like one day, uh, if people gonna hate you because you did something, you will lose all of them. You will lose all all your income. They will uh, YouTuber uh, like if in YouTube they will unsubscribe and if you have like low uh, viewers or subscribers, uh, YouTube will also pay you less or they will pay pay you anymore. And and also there are many like retired people uh, in this country uh, where they uh, use YouTube as a source of income and for fun also and what will happen to this uh, retired people if they have to also pay the tax they have to pay uh, the building tax for the house and they are using uh, this uh, opportunity from YouTube and Instagram uh, to share their interest and they get money and they should also pay and this will lead to my second argument which the rate of uh, uh, which uh, good rate of unemployment uh, will increase because um, like many people want to be a seller or a YouTuber because they know this is uh, the right and the fun and the uh, easy opportunity to get uh, money and what uh, and we know like nowadays with this kind of jobs, uh, YouTubers and followers, um, the with that the rate of uh, unemployment has increased because like we can see like they get the money from the YouTube, so there is like less less people with a low income. And if the government made the Telegram and the 
government and the YouTuber pay the tax, many people will think twice to be one of them. So they will think, uh, should I be a YouTuber of uh, um, or the Telegram? Because if I just try to uh, apply to any, any other job, I will get a higher income maybe because as I said before, it's not stable for YouTuber and Instagram to get the income and they will think twice like, Oh, maybe I will just um, try to get another job, not be a YouTuber or uh, a sales uh, which uh, with a, a cert, uh, with a with a with a I know how much will I get uh, in a real job. And with this, the with this, the um, like if many people uh, quit, you, uh, if many people like here, there are hundreds of Sangam and YouTubers in this country, as we know, like Chandra Leo, Bidhi Kovilir, Manida Zain, Arif Muhammad, they are, the, we, as we know, they are all first, they have their own money. So if they just leave, uh, if they leave uh, this, uh, they will be the same. And that is why we believe that this vision, uh, we believe that YouTubers and Sangam should not pay for tax. And uh, they said that uh, um, uh, the YouTubers and Instagram 